The Dems 360 platform is a web hosted solution, meaning that all you require to be able to log into it is an active internet connection from any force enabled device. Provided your permission levels have been set for you, when you click on the link you will arrive at the Dems 360 landing page. This is where you will find any videos that have been recorded from a body worn video camera that was allocated to you at the time the recording was made. Looking at the screen with video files visible, we can see that it is split into two parts. On the left hand side, you can see a thumbnail representing the first frame of the video or the still image of the clip in question. To the right hand side, we can see the associated metadata that relates to that file. By clicking on the video thumbnail or on the metadata, we then see the playback screen. Dems360 has been designed to be as intuitive as possible and as such the user interface is similar to that found on many other web-based applications. A series of icons beneath the playback window allow you to navigate and interact with the video file. Through these icons you can perform such functions as playback, advance or rewind via a single frame, create a snapshot of the current frame displayed in the playback window, or create evidential clips where necessary for prosecutions. The latest version of Dems360 also introduces the ability to add bookmarks. This helps to identify key, significant parts of the video which may need to be referred to later on. Using bookmarks allows for a much easier way for somebody watching the footage back to find that specific relevant part of a clip. We have also introduced two new functions in this latest version of Dems360. The first is the ability to rotate the footage in the viewer in sequences of 90 degrees as well as a variable playback speed ranging from half speed through 2, 4, 8 and 16 speed. This allows for a speedy review of the footage allowing investigators to locate key significant parts quickly. Via the playback window users are also able to create evidential clips. The platform is designed to be non-destructive meaning the original video file is never altered in any way and is able to be produced for the purpose of evidential integrity. Reveals body-worn video cameras can, if necessary, record continuously for 12 hours. However, it may only be necessary to share a small part of that video file with the prosecution. Therefore, the playback window allows for evidential clips to be created quickly by the user. By simply selecting the start and end points of the evidential part of the clip, and then adding it to Dems as a new exhibit, the file is added to the library of the person who creates the clip to make it easier for them to find it later on. When talking about body-worn video, the metadata is equally as important as the video file itself, as it allows us to prove the evidential integrity of the video file. Dems360 is designed to ensure that there is an audit trail of every interaction of the video file, from the point of its creation to when it is presented as evidence. As such, some of the metadata fields located to the right of the video file in the viewer are unable to be edited. Certain information, such as the recording date and time, the length of the file and the type and the source camera serial number are unable to be edited. However, individual users have the ability to attribute the video to a unique incident ID number and also to apply notes to the video to make it easy to reference them later on. In order to keep video files which are required as evidence in relation to a prosecution, users are required to edit certain aspects of the metadata. By clicking on the edit metadata icon, and then ticking the box to mark the file as evidential, users can then change the retention period for that file to ensure that it is not automatically deleted. If access to a video file is to be restricted, then this can be performed by ticking the box with the title Cloaked. Once ticked, the file can only be accessed by those with the appropriate permission levels configured on the system. When it comes to searching the Dems360 library to find video files, there are two ways that this can be performed. The first is by using the general search box located at the top of the screen. When using this search box, it's worth noting that the Dems360 platform will search every metadata field of every file to try and locate an exact match. The search criteria must be exact, as it is not possible to use wildcard searching or partial searching. A much more precise way to run a search within the Dems360 platform is to use the advanced search field. By clicking on this icon, the advanced search field is now visible and can be used to perform a more specific search for the footage that is required. From here, it's possible to narrow down a search for footage, either between a particular date and time, or if a camera has been used which is fitted with GPS and has it enabled, the search can be restricted out to a range from a specific address. 
Each of these drop-down fields are now available to narrow down the parameters of the search. The most commonly other used fields for performing a search will be uploaded from and user ID. This allows for footage to be searched which has come in either from a specific camera or from a particular user. Beneath the search fields are two tick boxes, one to include deleted files and the other to include cloaked files. In the event that a file has been deleted because it was not marked as evidential within the initial retention period, it can still be included in the search, although it is worth noting that the video file itself will have been deleted, but the metadata will remain within DEMS. If a cloaked file is searched for and found, it will be returned with all of the information redacted, unless the viewer has specific permissions to view cloaked files. It is worth noting that an entire audit is captured of all searches performed within the DEMS360 platform. In order to reduce the overall file size and to decrease the time it takes to transfer information across the network, DEMS360 breaks down large recordings into small, bite-sized data packets. What this means in practice is that a long recording can be broken down into multiple linked videos. The longest any one linked video can be is 40 minutes. In practice, this means if an officer attends an incident and records one hour's worth of body-worn video, when that file is uploaded into the DEMS360 platform, the officer will actually see two files, one of two and two of two, with the first file being 40 minutes and the second file being the remaining 20 minutes of the hour's recording. Similarly, a four-hour recording would result in six 40-minute linked videos. These videos, as well as any clips created from a file, are all referred to under the collective term related media. In order to quickly find any related media to a video file, there is an icon located above the metadata in the preview window of DEMS360. This icon allows for a quick and seamless way to navigate around DEMS360 to find videos that are linked. DEMS360 now also introduces a seamless way to transfer body-worn video files directly from DEMS to the criminal justice system. With just two clicks of the mouse, the file can be instantly shared with the criminal justice platform, allowing for the secure transmission of data files without the need to create physical media such as DVDs or USBs. This seamless transfer is already in use and has proved to be extremely beneficial in the speedier transfer of evidence from the police to the Crown Prosecution Service. This brief introduction to the DEMS360 platform covers just some of its functionality. More detailed videos, as well as any additional training materials required, can be made available by contacting the sales team at Reveal Media.